Have you ever thought about serving on a board and commission? No? Well, check this out. I'm Charles Blaine, and this is Texas Tomorrow. When people talk about public service, it's usually about running for office or working for an elected official of some sort. But what if I told you that it's increasingly appointed officials, unelected boards and commissions who are influencing our day-to-day lives? So a few years ago, a study found that 3,853 rules were made by federal agencies, commissions, and departments, while Congress passed 214 laws. So for every law passed, 18 rules were implemented by unelected officials, people that were appointed into offices. Recently, the Texas Department of Parks and Wildlife put out a new proposed rule on specific types of hunting for mountain lions. So while this might not specifically affect you in your day-to-day life, these happen in every department and every agency in our state. Their current Texas Register lists them all out. And so it has proposed rules for different agencies like Health and Human Services, the Attorney General's Office, the Office of Consumer Credit, the Department of Licensing, and the list goes on. And these get produced every week, and you can see what proposed rules these agencies are setting out. But it gets even more local than that. So here's a quick story. One day, I was watching the Archaeological and Historical Commission for a local government. A commercial property owner who just purchased his property came up to testify. The property had graffiti all over it, and so he was painting it to make it look better. You know, improve the quality of his neighborhood. So what ended up happening was as he was painting it, a nosy neighbor noticed and decided that they were going to report him to the city. So they complained about what he was doing, and the city, ever interested in involving itself in your private affairs, decided to call him in front of this commission to make him explain himself. So what proceeded to happen was they decided what color he was allowed to paint his building. They even decided what color he was allowed to paint the grout. He was shocked, as were some of the commissioners, that they even had the authority to do this. And this might seem like an extreme example, but it happens all the time in every local government across our state. There are countless local boards and commissions that oversee everything. What is on your local library shelves, local ethics rules, home appraisals, rates at the local port, water adjustments, civil service, police oversight, groundwater, historic preservation, even helicopter licensing. It never ends. There's no shortage of boards and commissions that issue these rules. And so here's another story. Years ago, the Board of Pilots for the Houston Ship Channel proposed a rate increase. So for boats coming in and out of the ship channel, they have to hire a local pilot to guide them through the channel. Shipping companies started to push back against this rate increase, even threatening to take their business to other ports. For you, this would mean longer shipping times on things that you order, it would mean higher costs for shipping on things that you order. Ultimately, the Board of Pilots back off of this rate increase, but it's still interesting that an unelected board that most people don't even know exists had that much power. So when we consider public service, remember, it doesn't always mean an elected position. Actually, it's increasingly less and less meaning an elected position. There are hundreds, if not thousands of positions out there that are appointment-based, And if you don't seek them out, someone else will, and they might not have your best interests at heart, and oftentimes they don't have your best interests at heart. But more importantly than that, as we watch our local governments, we need to recognize that these are entities that need oversight as well. And they go most ignored because people don't even know they exist or they think they don't wield much power. So these are areas that we really need to have a keen eye on and make sure that we're aware of what they're doing and communicate to our neighbors and our communities what they're doing so that we can be more involved in the process and so that we don't get caught off guard when they pass new rules and regulations. Thanks for tuning in. As always, if there's an issue in your neighborhood that is coming up and you'd like us to cover it, please let us know and make sure you share this with your friends, family, and on social media and give us some feedback on what you're thinking.